So this is how you finish? Yeah, I'll go back with the same paint and uh, the fine brush uh, and then I work my way up it. I've got a, I put a piece of brown paper on here to rest my hand on uh, so I don't do any smudging and then I work my way way back and I fill in the bits that have missed and enhance it and we'll slowly work our way back up the string here you see filling in a section there that's yeah, that's it's missing it's not perfectly straight it, like a string would be yeah a string's it's got it's they've got the hairs hanging off them and the threads and the fibers um, this is the nicest way to do this there are two or three other methods uh, but this gives the most character and it, uh, like I said, it's a throwback to my printmaking days. Uh, I really have been able to draw on a lot of that experience and uh, bring that to the painting. So now we've got, I think that's more even overall. This is not the finished, the finished look here. Uh, there we go. We'll take a look at that. Let's move this. Let's have a look. All right. And just one last thing to do. Blot this with brown paper and that tones it down, evens it out. You see, it's taken off the, you can see the, the excess paint. Okay. And let that dry. Yep. And taking the excess paint off allows it to dry quicker, actually. Uh, and when that's dry, I'll come back with uh, the same paint again, but I'll do some highlights uh, that will just give it another dimension. Okay, let us know when you do that. I will do.